Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop and the latest version of Photoshop 2021. They've reintroduced good old lines in the pixels option. Over here, pixels, shape, path and pixels. Now the line tool is down here. Depends of course on your customization of Photoshop, but there's my line tool. And with the line tool, what you can do, you can add lines in pixel mode. Before it was just shape and path. So let's just quickly add. I'm just going to remove these ones and you can see some of the options there. So simply drag across there and you've got five pixels. So if we want 30 pixels, you can add 30 pixels. Now you can also hold down the shift key and also start drawing, hold down the shift key so it's 45 degrees or do that down. And you can change the color, of course. Let's go change the color. And again, if you want to, you can go here, you can put 23. Now, sadly, there's still no option, which I would love to see a stroke option or ones where you could get dashes, etc. in this. But the only way around that, of course, is to use it as shape and then flatten. Simply add very quickly, add those. But also go here, got the settings here. You can go up here, start as well as end. I'm just going to use both. Weirdly, you've got live shape controls there. Not certain why, because it's obviously <laughs> being a pixel, it's not going to be very live. There's nothing I can do about it once it's been added. You can see there, you've got arrows. Of course, you can't manipulate the arrows particularly, but it's a standard uh, arrow like that. So I can remove those very quickly. And also, you've still got this option. Now, I've got it at three. You can see when I draw that, it's just drawing there. Obviously, it's not drawing that those red lines, but you can simply just release and you've got your lovely line. Now, let's just go back to shape, our shape option here. And what you can do, you can add a shape like this, and you can see it just takes a bit of time. Now, if you add it like that, it doesn't vanish. <laughs> now, it's possible it does vanish at some time. Now, the thing is, I think one of the reasons why it always vanished before was because of the settings. So if you put that to there and you put it to zero, you could still get, say, a line. And what was happening, I think it was like that, and it would vanish. So the key thing is, definitely, is make certain that the weight is, say, 20 or something like that. And what you can do, you've got fill, you've got stroke, you can just add it very quickly and easy like that. And now you'll see it never vanished before. It was still a layer, so you could still see it there. But it defaults nicely to something that's a bit more convenient, something like 20 or 10 or something like that. It's a bit more useful than using it with, whoops, when it's just zero. When it's zero, of course, you can't see anything. And you can do all the same things as before. You can always still manipulate it, add a stroke. You can add, to change the color. You can also go over here, maybe make it dashes, etc. And then you can apply it again. You can see it like that. So that makes it so much nicer and works in a way that I think is much more familiar with most Photoshop users. I must admit, why they removed the pixel option baffled me completely. However, once you've done that, you can flatten it. And again, just go back to pixels. I'm just really happy that finally they've introduced or reintroduced, just to say, the pixel option because I use pixel option quite a lot. It's quite a useful little feature because you can create some very abstract designs using pixels. And I think, okay, you could use it with like rectangles, but it's still, I think, lines and pixels so much easier. So I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always had new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finity Photo, Finity Designer, and many, many others. Also, if you've got any comments, suggestions, things that I did wrong, things I did right, please put those in the comments. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated. And of course, please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding daily. So uh, that's really great. Thank you much.